Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I got my coffee right here. I got a load of laundry on the couch behind me. Mom life. I swear one minute my house is clean and then the next minute I turn around and I have a pile like that behind me or the sink is loaded up with dishes or the toilet needs to be scrubbed and I just can't. Between taking care of my newborn and trying to keep the house somewhat organized, the day slips away really fast. So if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I made a post a while back talking about how I wanted to incorporate mom diaries onto my channel. I figured this would be a new series just to where I could incorporate it with the videos that I'm already doing, but kind of just get real and raw and open, honest, and discuss topics that like I'm learning about. I'm a first time mom. My son will be two months old in just a few days. And wow, this is an entire new world. I have changed and grown so much as a person. Literally the person that I was before I got pregnant is not, I don't even, I don't even know who that girl is. I don't recognize that girl. I am a completely different person and I, and it's for the better. I've changed for the better for sure. And so I just wanted to include this series just to where I could talk and share my honest feelings and kind of vent and then in the comments if you are a first time mom or you're a mom or you're going through some of the same things that I'm going through or maybe you have some advice to give if you've been through my situation how you got through it. I just wanted to put this video out here as a platform to open up a discussion with other moms. So that way when you don't have time to go out on a coffee date with your best friend and go talk about all of the crazy things that are happening just so you can get out of the house for a minute and vent. When you don't have time for that maybe you can have time for this 10 minute video just to you know, listen to some things that maybe are going on in my life that you also may be dealing with and then to go in the comments and read from other moms who are also dealing with the same thing or maybe have some advice to give. And I just figured that this would be a great series for encouragement and discussion between moms. The one thing that I wanna make sure that does not happen is mom shaming or judgment. I don't want anything negative like that happening. These videos are made to help moms and support and encourage not to judge because someone's parenting different than you. Everybody has different parenting styles. Everybody runs their household differently. Some babies are formula fed, some breast fed, some do sleeping schedules, some don't do schedules. Some go to church, some don't go to church. Let people raise their kids the way that they wanna raise their kids. When they ask for advice, give advice without judgment. Let's just keep it very positive and very happy. Being a mom and being a parent, I mean, it's hard enough. We don't need to feel criticized by other moms or to make ourselves feel like we're doing something wrong when it's already as hard as can be. And yeah, so. You get the point, I just want this to be very positive. So if you don't know, my son was born July 25th, 2017. I did just say 2017, it is definitely 2018 and he's only two months old, so I don't know how that makes sense. I'm not getting much sleep. <laughs> um, my son was born in 2018, so he will be two months old probably by the time this video gets uploaded. And it has been amazing. It has also been full of struggles. It's been full of adjusting, which is totally normal. So I went past my due date. He was supposed to be born on July 15th. I went 10 days past my due date. I had to be induced. So they induced me with Silotech, I believe that's the name of it. I had to take two of those pills to make me dilate because I wasn't even dilating. I was in labor for 37 hours total. I pushed for three hours and then he finally arrived that night at 11.51 p.m. So he almost went to July 26th, but I had really bad back labor. Like, horrible back labor and I pushed myself I it was around the 20 hour mark is where I finally got the epidural but my back labor if you've had back labor let me know in the comments below just so I can relate to other mamas who have dealt with that pain I mean childbirth in and of itself especially if you do natural childbirth like holy crap the pain oh but the back labor for me I literally thought that my butthole was falling out Let's just put it that way. I literally thought that my butt bone, somebody or something that weighs five million pounds was l sitting on that bone and just shattering it in a bunch of pieces. I, I, I literally thought that my butt bone was gonna fall out. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's a thing. It was horrible. 
so yeah, I didn't even really have too many contractions like in my in my stomach, like up front. It was all in the back and it was not fun at all. Yeah, after my second Silotech pill, I really hope that that's what it's called. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. I, I think that's what it's called though. After my second one, I was dilated enough to where they could break my water. That's where they put that little hook thing up there and they break it. That wasn't fun. They did that. Then like a few more hours had passed and I dilated even more, which was great. Oh, when we walked the hallway, Austin and I walked down, up and down the hallway after they broke my water. And you know, I got all my stuff all over the floor in the middle of the hallway after I thought that all of it had came, all, I thought that all of it was out. And so we're walking down the hallway and I was like, uh oh. And I could feel more of it coming out and it was all over the floor. Fun stuff. If you're not close with your partner, before you go into labor and experience all the stuff in the hospital, after the hospital, and after the whole, you know, childbirth experience, you're a lot closer. So that happened, and then they let me start pushing at eight, and he was born at 11.51. Overall, my entire pregnancy was great. Like the first, the first month I had, or the first trimester, I had a lot of acid reflux in the morning. So I would feel extremely nauseous and I mean immediately, like as soon as I woke up, I'd have to run to the bathroom. I would spit up and it was like stomach acid. So it really hurt, um, it, was, it was painful. That happened during the first trimester and then completely gone by the second trimester. Had no problems, my hair was getting thick, my skin looked great. I was gaining a lot of weight, but other than that, I mean, I was, I was a happy pregnant person. I mean, I was, it was fine, it was great third trimester towards the very end of my pregnancy. I think I'm going to do an entire video on weird pregnancy side effects that I've had. I need to do that because I could talk for five straight minutes, maybe even longer about the craziest pregnancy problems that I have had. So I'm going to do an entire video on that and I will leave it linked below because I want to know how many other moms have had these symptoms like me. Third trimester, it really went downhill for me. And I mean, by by 32 weeks, I was like, I am done. Get this kid out of me. I'm over it. I am miserable. It was a long last couple weeks. I just remember every day, like, please, please, God, break my water. Let me go into labor. I'm so over this. Um, and then, you know, the whole, I thought that my water was going to break on its own. I really wanted to have that experience of being home, my water breaking, calling my husband at work, get home, it's time to go, and then going to the hospital. I wanted that whole experience, and I, it didn't work out that way, but that's okay. He is here, and he is healthy, and he's happy, and that's all that matters. So that's a little bit about, like, my pregnancy story and my birth story. So after Lawson was born, um, I immediately, I, you know, I put him on my boob because I knew that I wanted to breastfeed, and he latched on to me, and I was like, oh my my gosh like he's got this down like this is great I mean he you know, I mean he latched on and started sucking like he was a pro and so I was like oh my goodness I've heard so many struggle stories like I'm so happy that I'm not gonna be one of those moms that doesn't struggle with this very ignorant for me to think very ignorant um, I know that breastfeeding comes like a breeze to some moms and then some moms struggle and struggle and struggle, but keep pushing through, but keep struggling and don't give up. And then finally, you know, one day it all just clicks and it's easier. Um, I know some moms try their absolute hardest and then just have to give up because it's just way too stressful for them and the baby. So they just need to formula feed and that's okay too. I mean, you just got to do what you, what you need to do at the end of the day. By the time we get in, moved into the new room and the morning comes, my nipples are already so sore and just in so much pain and just hurting. And so I had lactation come into the room and evaluate his latch and they were like, you just got to keep moving his upper lip out and his lower lip because he would tuck both of his lips in like that so it was pinching me. So they gave me a shield to use. So I started to use the shield and that made my nipples heal really quickly. They went back to normal and and we just kept using the shield. So then we go to the first pediatrician appointment and we find out that he has upper tie, upper lip tie under here, and then he had tongue tie as well. So I made the appointment to go get that taken care of. That was a horrible day for me. I know it was horrible for him too because he's the one who had to go through the pain. He doesn't remember it anymore, I know, but still like the thought of my son having something cut in his mouth, like that's 
horrible for a mom to have to think about. So once he started healing with that and we were doing the stretches at home, the latch got so much better, but we were still using the shield because I was so terrified to stop using the shield. I didn't um, want my nipples to go through that much pain again because I mean, even taking a shower, like my toes would curl, like it was horrible pain. And it wasn't until he was about six weeks old when I finally one night we were just sitting on the couch I said you know what I'm gonna try it without the shield I took the shield off he latched on to me perfectly it didn't hurt at all I was like oh my goodness this is amazing like you know I can finally stop carrying around this shield with me everywhere I go I, I plan on doing a whole video where I talk about my breastfeeding experience because I'm still so new at it he's only almost two months old so every time we get over one struggle another struggle appears and it's just a domino effect I feel like I feel like I get over one hump and then I'm slammed with another one and it's discouraging and it's hard and it's difficult and I'm trying my very hardest to make it work but I'm gonna go I'm gonna do an entire video on my breastfeeding experience that way if you're not a breastfeeding mom you don't have to hear me talk about the breastfeeding stuff but anyway I just wanted to kind of give an introduction to this series that I want to include on my channel I just wanted it to be for you to like kind of see into my life a little bit more and get more personal I feel like I want my subscribers to feel like they know me and to feel like I'm a friend I want to build this connection with other moms that are subscribed to me. I want to have an open and honest discussion with other moms in the comments down below so we can all support each other, help each other, you know, work through struggles, make connections, make friends. That's really my goal for these videos. And I also, you know, kind of want to keep this vlog style diary so that way when it comes time for my next baby, I can look back on the different milestones and memories of how Lawson is. I can compare the pregnancies, the birth stories, and all that. I don't want to forget anything, so I'd want to document it on video so I have this forever. If you're excited for this new series where we just get to talk and discuss all mom things, then please give this video a thumbs up. It'll let me know that you are excited and you're interested in it. I can't wait to share more about my life and my experiences with Lawson, and be on the lookout for the next video, and I'll see you soon. Kipper looks at me sometimes like, who in the world are you talking to. Hey, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Hey. You can't even tell what he is because he's so furry and messy. He's just a blob of hair. He looks like a cotton ball. Hey, Biscuit. How you doing, bud? Someone's waking up just in time. <laughs> Say hi. Look at the camera. Somebody is hungry. <laughs> Oh, hey buddy, how was your nap?